Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released iOS security response 16.4.1a. This is the first of its kind released to the public and it's available everywhere around the world at the same time and could roll out over the next 48 hours. Most people are seeing it now and initially there were some errors when trying to install it. You would try to install it. And once you go to install it, it would actually say unable to verify security response because you are no longer connected to the internet. Apple seems to have fixed this and you can now install the update. And as you can see, the update is fairly small at 85.2 megabytes. I just took screenshots while I was installing it. Let's go ahead and install it on the iPad where it's also available. And it's also available on Mac OS 13.3.1 as well. So if we go into settings, go to general, then software update. We'll be able to install it here. Give it just a moment and we have the option to install it. We'll tap install now. I'll put in my password and then it says verifying security response update. We'll give it a moment to reboot and install it. It's a very fast install as it's not a very large file unless you have slow internet or slow connections. It's already rebooted and installed right away. It says your iPad is now up to date with iPad OS rapid security response 16.4.1 a let's go ahead and unlock this. Now let's set this aside and now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number because there's now two of them after you install this update. So if you go to your settings, go to general, then about, if you tap the iOS version at the top, you'll see, we now have two updates. We have the initial 16.4.1 update and then the new 16.4.1 security response with a build number of 20E7725208. Now the nice thing is you can remove this if you want to do that. If it's causing problems, you have the option to remove it. It says iOS rapid security response will be removed from this phone. You can remove it and you'll be good to go. So if it is causing some sort of issue, you'll be able to remove it. Now, as far as what's new, they did offer a support document to go along with this. So if we go to that website on the website, I'll link it in the description. It says rapid security responses deliver important security updates between software updates. Typically we would need another small update such as 16.4.2. Now we have the rapid security response and it says it's a new type of software release for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. They deliver important security improvements between software updates and it gives examples of it, but but doesn't actually say what's in it. It tells you how to install it and how to remove it. But other than that, that's it. And if you want to turn them off, you can just turn them off in settings and you'll no longer receive it. As far as the security updates contained within it, even on Apple's security website, they haven't updated it with the new information. This is something I would like to see them do where we could see what they've actually updated as far as security overall. They're being very, vague about this. And I wish they would be more transparent about what's actually in them as far as vulnerabilities that have been fixed. Now, if you're wondering if you should install this, well, absolutely. As it's now nice and easy to actually uninstall it, you don't have to use a computer to roll back to a previous version. You can just remove it like I showed you before. So let's try that out. Since I've never done that, we'll remove the response. See what it says. We'll have to put in our passcode. That's it. It says preparing removal. Give it just a moment and we'll see what it does. If we have to reboot or just see what it's like to remove it. And then we'll see if we can just reinstall it as well. Now the phone seems to have rebooted on its own. So it does have to reboot in order to uninstall that. Let's go ahead and go back in. And now we'll go to settings. We'll go to general, then software update and see what it says. We'll give it a second to connect to Wi-Fi. We'll check again. And now we can reinstall the security response update. Now, one thing to note is you won't have the update if you're on iOS 16.5 betas. You'll only have it on 16.4.1. Now, if you're worried about the overall battery life or anything like that, battery and performance should not be affected. But again, you can remove this if you want to, if you're having an issue with it, but it shouldn't affect battery or performance. It should just patch security holes. As far as future updates, well, it looks like we probably won't have a 16.4.2 since we now have this security update. We'll wait for 16.5 with the next betas and final release for them to actually bring new features. So if we go to our calendar here, we should expect that as soon as tomorrow or Wednesday, if they do what they've typically done every year, where after beta three, we typically have a week to week beta update. So probably beta four or release candidate as soon as tomorrow, they could extend this and push it out another week, but we should have that as well as the final release sometime in May with iOS 16.6 betas starting 
either in the end of May or maybe around iOS 17 beta one in June 5th. So look forward to that. Not much more to talk about as far as the security update, definitely get it installed to make sure your device is protected. And let me know if you've had any issues as it should be working properly now. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.